All right, so in this video we're going to be talking about multiplying decimals. Now with multiplying decimals it's a little bit easier to actually calculate the numbers and then move the decimal point afterwards accordingly. Um, what I mean by that is let's say the question is 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.3. Well 7 times 3 is 21 so I can write that down. However, the problem I have is that it's 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.3. In other words, the decimal point has moved. And it's actually moved once in this number and once in that number. And with both of those, it's moved once towards the right. So in other words, I need to move the decimal point, which currently is here, to make sure that my numbers also move two places towards the right. Now in order to do that I'm going to move the decimal point towards the left which ensures that my numbers move that way as well. So in other words the answer to 0.7 times 0.3 will be 0.21 to make sure my numbers have moved towards the right hand side. Okay, so let's say we have something like 1.4 multiplied by 0.002. Well, in this particular case, I know that 1.4 times 2 is 2.8. So I'm going to write 2.8 there. Now my decimal point has already been allocated a place. It's not at the end as it was with those. It's already here because I've just looked at 1.4 multiplied by 2. So my decimal point has actually moved 1, 2, 3 places. And it's 3 places towards the right. So again, my decimal point is there and I need to move my numbers three places also towards the right. So in order to do that I'm going to put some zeros in place here to make sure that I'm able to perform the jumps correctly and I move those one, two, three. So in other words 1.4 multiplied by 0 0.002 will be 0. 0028. Okay, um, hopefully that will give you some idea of how to use uh, decimal points in order to multiply through. There is another video where um, we use two digit multiplication and if you look through that, that will show you how to multiply the numbers first and then move the decimal point afterwards accordingly.